Hi and welcome back to Gary Morton Jones's Kitchen. This is episode two of starting a fish and chip shop from scratch. Episode two. haven't seen episode one, click the link here. This will show you how we came up with the name for the new fish and chip shop. Please stay tuned to the end of the video and you will see the new logo for our business. Okay, today we're talking about branding and today we are seven days on from the last video so you can see the progress we've made since the last video. We took the space on, the walls were white and it had blue wood cladding, very nice indeed and that was automatically a nod to the sort of colours we should be using when it came to putting the logo together. Onto a beautiful new blue! Blue is obviously a colour you're going to look at when you're using branding for a fish and chip shop as it is. The walls are blue, so an obvious choice. Okay, so what do I know about fish and chips? In 2017, I opened a fish and chip shop in South Sea in Portsmouth called The Fisherman's Kitchen. And in the first 12 months of being open, we ranked number one on TripAdvisor for best fish and chip shop in Hampshire. And then 12 months later, we entered the National Fish and Chip Shop Awards and came in the top 10 best newcomer fish and chip shop 2019. How do I think I achieved that? Well, I think after 20 years in Michelin star restaurants and award-winning restaurants, I took those elements of good cooking and good recipes and transferred them into the fish and chip shop industry, making sure the product was consistent. Uh, we were tasting the food all the time, checking the seasoning all the time. We looked at the best produce that was available to us, the best potatoes, the best fish, best peas, best salads. We wanted to make sure that the quality of the food spoke for itself. So how has the fish and chip shop industry changed in 2017 to 2022? Um, quite a lot actually. The produce that we use has shot up in price. So the war in Ukraine and Russia. Russia was one of the biggest suppliers of cod to the UK. So the price of cod has shot through the roof and nearly doubled in price over the past six months. Uh, the price of potatoes is on a steady rise. So the cost of the key ingredients for a fish and chip shop have really shot up in the past couple of years. So that has had a big impact on how much you sell a portion of fish and chips for. So as we go to open the second shop and go to open a new fish and chip shop, we're obviously very conscious that gas prices have increased, the price of cods increased, price of potatoes have increased. So all your key elements that you're using in a fish and chip shop have shot dramatically up. So we're looking for solutions to work our way around that to make sure we can still give a good product at a good price. Okay, so what are the highs and lows been over the past seven days? Well, over the past seven days, the team from Metrics over the road in the coffee shop there, they um, closed for a five day refit and we opened up here as a pop-up coffee shop from Monday to Friday. The team from Metrics came over and, and they blitzed the whole site on the weekend. And then on Monday morning, we opened up and we were a pop-up coffee shop from Monday to Friday. So it was really good to see, this play, see the place filled full of customers as an operating catering business. So that was really good. Uh, that was a high point. Uh, the, the low point, the gas man came out to fit in the gas ready for the fryer to be operational. Uh, they had the wrong serial number, so he could do it, but he wouldn't do it. So he left and we have no gas at the moment and we're now waiting for another appointment for the gas man to come out. Who is it, darling? It's the gas man! Um, yes, I think we've established that. Well, don't leave him out in the cold, dreamboat. Show him in. Thank you. So the gas wasn't fitted, so now we're now looking at menus and plans and things we can do to open a fish and chip shop without gas while we wait for British gas to come out because we don't know the time scale they'll be operating on. And we obviously need to get the doors open, so we've got a few ideas in place to try and get the business running on electrical equipment compared to gas. The roller coaster ride of business. Okay, that was episode two of starting a fish and chip shop from scratch. 
We have had a good week, like I said, of getting customers in place and using the space for a functioning catering business. Uh, our, now, our next challenge is to get the utilities in. If we can't do that in a short period of time, then we'll look at a backup menu that we can operate without a big fryer. Challenging, but we'll see what we can do. I'm sure where there's a will, there's a way. And also the branding has been done. The logo is here. Like I said, nice and simple, clear to the point, tells everyone what the name of the shop is, what we're doing, and the brand colors fit with the colors of the shop. So keeping it nice and simple. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, click that little bell for episode three. We'll see you next time. Take care now. That's Gary's Kitchen out.